So we found ourselves with a little bit of a challenge here with getting Wi-Fi to this building, which is at the front of our property, almost 400 feet from the main Wi-Fi router, which is inside the house, as well as maybe 450 feet or so from our extender, which lives out by our pool a bit further back. So I didn't want to run cables, things like that. I don't even know if Ethernet would, would make it or how much it would drop, but going through woods, you can see back here, during the summer months, it's pretty thick. So what did we do? Well, I know how good the Wi-Fi router worked. Originally, the one that we set up by the pool, that extender. And I said, you know what? Let's try something like that again. And actually the company sent me a message said, hey, we have a new one that you could check out. So today we are checking out the Aerial HD8S wireless access point from Wavelink. But first, let's go ahead and take a look and see what comes in the box. So in the box here, you'll see the actual Wavelink access point with our connectors for the external antennas. Also, we have all the organic starter guide, how to set it up. Now, these are the antennas as well as some straps, depending where you're going to place it. And then all the other accessories like the power adapter, the short Ethernet cable. I purchased a longer one for my needs, but then this is also the waterproof connector that goes underneath some anchors to mount it wherever you're going to place it as well as the power converter for power over ethernet so that right there is the setup and you can see right there we have the wavelink set up i got it all installed and i have a ethernet cable that runs inside the building here and to the uh, power over ethernet which plugs in and guess what i set it up it was Pretty easy to set up, essentially the same way that the other one's set up. And you do have a few different features that you could use if you wanna use it as a full router, a bridge, um, and there's two other features as well. And once I got it set up and connected, I actually ended up connecting to the other wavelength that's over by the pool. And I am getting connectivity through all of these woods right here. On good, clear, non-rainy days, I am seeing pretty good speeds for upload and download. And with inclement weather, it only seems to drop just a little bit, making it perfect for my needs here in this shed where I have a tablet running Square and Wi-Fi camera. Honestly, with all of the foliage, I am pretty impressed with these speeds and connectivity and could only imagine in the winter months with less leaves, it would be slightly faster with a better line of sight. Now I do have it almost at the highest point here and it is essentially pointing where that other router is, but it is 400, almost 450 feet away through wooded area and it is working fine. Now, while it was running really good at that original max distance, when we had some bad rainstorms, the rainwater must have been deflecting the signal and it was causing problems. Plus, we determined that the corner of the house was really in the line of sight to the other unit. So I moved that other unit to the front of the house, which is still about 370 feet away and through trees, but now, the connection in all weather has been great. I connect to it, whether it's 2G or 5G, works fine on the tablet, on the laptop, on the phone. I am super excited. I really like these wavelengths. Now I will say that the setup for them, sometimes I have to do it multiple times. It is a little bit confusing, but their tech support is really good as well as their website. Once you get it set up and going, it is really, really easy to do. Now you will see it comes with that little gasket right there, which makes it uh, also waterproof. So nothing's gonna go back up into it where the ethernet cable connects. And then I have that cable just being protected running down that little conduit pipe. Otherwise, super easy to use, a pretty good interface once you log into it, have a lot of different options. But my biggest thing is that the distance that this is connecting to, I am super happy with it. I will also say another friend that owns a farm, they asked me, they're like, hey, we gotta get, uh, we gotta get Wi-Fi from our house to the barn, which was also a pretty far shot, probably close to, I think it was close to 600 feet or so. Now they don't really have too many trees in the way, but guess what? 
they were able to get connectivity and see their camera and watch their goats uh, as they were getting ready to give birth and give them that notification say hey we got to get out there i'm not taking down the trees we like the privacy here so this works perfectly for us so there you have it if you're looking to get a wi-fi extender for a really long range now the one that's out by the pool which is only probably about 150 feet or so from the main router we see really good connectivity good fast speeds and obviously this would be the same if it was closer without all of this foliage in the way but overall this is doing exactly what i need it's outdoor so it's water waterproofed and it can stay outdoors even though it's underneath a little bit of an overhang there but i absolutely love it and if you're looking for something like this then i would totally recommend checking out this wavelength extender right here